Hey you guys, long time, no see. I know it's been such a long time since I have published a video and you can probably tell where I have returned to. So glad that I am back in Taiwan once again. I'm just always getting called back here and I just have to listen to myself when when the voice in my head says to come back. So I actually happen to be landing a few days before my birthday. So this weekend is dedicated to just doing a bunch of fun things for my birthday. It technically falls on Monday, but you know, it's hard to coordinate things with a lot of people. So I was just like, you know, whatever day over the weekend works fine. As long as I get to see people and do fun stuff and I'm excited to bring you along and show you the things that I get into. Oh my God, that's so far. Every single time I come back to Taipei, I gotta admit, I fall more and more in love with it. Like, I really, really do. I have so many friends here, but there's just, I don't know, I like it a lot more, but one thing that I do get tired of is the metro. Like, I get tired of the metro so fast. Yo! So I found out about Roller 186 from a Taiwanese friend I made in the Philippines named Mason and shout out to Mason for telling me about this place because I was so excited to be going and also have my friend MG joining me. Roller 186 has a few locations in Taiwan including Taipei, Taichung, Tainan, and Kaohsiung. And you can book a two or four hour session online on KK Day and the price was pretty decent considering it includes the gear and a locker. Now we couldn't quite figure out how the coded locker worked, but there was a key, so we were able to get back in once we had finished. One thing that absolutely caught me off guard was how good some of the skaters were. Like they could literally move past you like a school of fish, just dodging anybody in their way with no problem. As I mentioned, I'm pretty good at rollerblading, but trying to go backwards with the skates was pretty much a mess at first. You're so good here. <laughs> Thankfully though, there is a practice area. So MG and I were able to work on our backwards skating skills. Backwards, there you go. And there's even a coach here who helps people learn how to skate. So she taught me how to do the backwards technique and these little dough legs got it down a little bit better. Also shout out to my salsa and bachata skills because there's no way I can explain why I'm doing this with my arms, but it definitely helped. Good job, good job! After a bit of practice, we hit the main floor, and while it's not massive, it's pretty awesome with the lighting, and the DJ was definitely throwing down some good jams. And if there was anything MG and I could offer this place, it was these dance moves, because I swear I did not see a single bop from anybody else here. The experience at Roller 186 was honestly so much fun. Like I improved a lot, I think over the two hours, you know, I went from being able to barely turn to kind of being able to skate backwards now, even though you can see that people are clearly still flying past me. We just finished roller skating and it was a blast. Honestly, it's been, I don't know, probably like a child's birthday party since the last time I've been to a skating rink. Yeah. You? I can't even remember, honestly. <laughs> if I were to live in Taipei, honestly, I'd probably start going there more regularly. Because I would, I kept like trying to like do the more advanced stuff and I don't know if I really got to that point. Anyways, so the next stop is we are going to one of the best bars supposedly in all of Taiwan. I met this guy, Kevin, in Boho while I was scuba diving and he was telling us about this bar he owns in Taipei and he invited us. So I'm excited to check it out. Welcome to Troven, a cocktail bar created by Kevin and his friends who have a passion for spirits and in general, love a good drink. 
It's really good. The menu changes by theme here, and currently the cocktails are inspired by the sky, the earth, and the ocean. And considering two of the bartenders here are competing as some of the top bartenders in Taiwan, the cocktails definitely come in as some of the best I have ever tried. So whether or not you're into cocktails or drinking in general, just check out some of these unique combinations we tried. Wow. Banging. It's banging. It's banging. So this is mousse. It tastes like, like a very soft whipped cream. The drink I got has guava, gin, jasmine, and what else, Kevin? Taiwanese pine. And Taiwanese pine, which really intrigued me. Is this the Taiwanese pine? No, it is. Oh, this is just this is just decoration. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's delicious. You can taste the pine and like, oh, that's such a good combination. And if you get hungry here, there are some really delicious snacks and meals that you can check out. This is a traditional, traditional dishes in Taiwan. Also, we supply these dishes for someone who is married. Mm. It's like a glu like glutinous rice? Yeah, right. Mm, no, it's really good. It's like nice, crispy, and light. Mm. Wow. Mm. Mm -hmm. It reminds me of like the amusement park. Like, like a bougie amusement park. Like carnival park. snacks. Yeah. yeah. Like mm. I think I've probably some of my favorite dumplings I've ever had. Where do they originate from? Like what? Hualien. Hualien. Ah. Yeah. That's from okay. Well, Hualien knows what's up. Yeah, we order this stuff from <laughs> I like melting your mouth. And the broth is so rich. Then I tried one of the most unique drinks I've ever had with Talisker whiskey, Japanese vinegar, asparagus foam, and prickly ash. Wow. Oh, that's really good. It's a very uh, fishy drink. <laughs> and this is dried squid. While I've had many cocktails in my life, this was an experience I've definitely never had. Kevin really had a lot of knowledge and passion about the spirits that he was sharing with us, such as creating two of the same drink but with just different gins so we could actually taste the difference. While most people think of drinking to relax or to even get drunk, this was just a totally different experience with alcohol and gave me a new appreciation and insight into this world. So thank you so much to Kevin for this experience and you guys definitely go check out his bar, I'll leave the link in the description. Alright you guys, so thank you so much if you enjoyed this vlog and watched it all the way through. I'm about to ride a U-bike home. I was going to take the train, but I'm not gonna lie, I really like riding a bike back. If you see this video, then you know I made it home safely. So thank you so much for watching this video and I I'm sure I will see you in the next one, which I don't know what we're going to be doing next time, but I'll see you there. Peace.